Should you use your 401k for a down payment? What's up, everybody? It's Jeff Travarth and Jeff the Mortgage Pro. This is a question that I get asked all the time. And I thought, why not put a video together of the pros and cons of using your your 401k for down payment uh, so you know what to do and you can make your own decisions based on that, okay? So a couple key points. So first of all, what is a 401k? Well, if you have one, you probably already know, but if you don't have one, you probably don't know what it is. But a 401k is just a retirement savings plan uh, offered by a lot of employers in the United States. There are two options for buying a house using your 401k or either to A, uh, take a 401k loan or B, taking a withdrawal from your 401k. Um, for early withdrawals, the IRS charges a 20% tax withholding and a 10% early withdrawal penalty. And then in states where uh, there is income tax for the state, they will also most likely withhold some of their uh, state income tax as well. Okay, so that's on the withdrawal type of side. When you are repaying your loan, uh, you're required to pay interest, which is usually between one or two percent. So it's not significant in terms of interest until you fully clear that loan back to yourself. So however, you don't have to pay income taxes or tax penalties when you do a, a loan against your 401k, which is kind of a cool thing about taking a loan versus doing a withdrawal. So let's take a look at some of the pros and cons here of using your 401k for down, down payment and closing costs. So some of the pros first here is that there's no credit check required. So if you need to access the funds from your 401k, it's really easy to do so. You just call your 401k provider and you ask them, uh, can I get a loan? Loan or can I take a withdrawal on this? And they're going to give you some specifics about how much you can take out uh, with a loan, how much you can withdraw, and then the terms of how you have to get that money back in there if that's part of the deal for you. Okay. The Another pro of taking a 401k loan is that the interest rates on these are very, very low, uh, meaning that anywhere from one to 2% on your money, if you're going to do it that way. And if you're just withdrawing it in general, there's no, uh, no interest rate that you have to pay to pay it back. Um, it's simply just going to be a taxable event. You're going to have taxes taken out on that when you pull the money out. You're going to have to pay income taxes on that money. Okay. So definitely lower interest rates. And then another pro here is that you can repay yourself. So when you do a 401k loan, you're really just borrowing money from your own retirement savings. So it's money you've already put aside, although pre-tax. And then uh, when you put it back in there, it goes back in there as pre-tax money. So you're essentially repaying yourself with interest over time um, by doing the uh, by doing the loan versus the withdrawal. So those are some definitely good things about using the 401k, either withdrawal or a loan going forward and using that for your down payment. Um, and then the other thing that we want to look at here is the cons. Okay, What are the, some of the, the negatives about using a 401k for your down payment or your closing costs or cash to close? So you can have penalties for non-repayment and meaning if you were unable to repay the loan according to the terms of the 401k plan, uh, you might be subject to penalties and taxes going forward. So you have to be really careful with that and make sure that you know the terms before you actually do a withdrawal or you actually do a loan. Um, you're missing out on investment gains. So this is money that's pre-tax typically when it goes into your 401 Okay. If you have a Roth 401k, by the way, that means it's post-tax money that goes in there, but you're going to be missing out on investment gains. So if the market is going crazy and you have the appropriate investments inside your 401k, you're going to miss out on those gains going forward. Um, but you have to weigh that because you're buying real estate with this and real estate has historically been pretty darn good over the last 25 or 30 years in terms of appreciation. So, you know, maybe do the math on that to figure out, which is the, is that really a pro or is that a con, right? <clears throat> Another con, slower retirement savings growth. Uh, since you're taking the money out of your 401k, uh, your retirement savings will be reduced at the time, which can slow down the growth of your retirement savings over time. And then lastly, another con is that you have a risk of default. If you lose your job or leave your employer before repaying the loan, the outstanding balance may be actually due immediately, uh, which can put you at risk of default. But again, check with your provider about the terms of that and make sure. One of the things that I would definitely say about taking out a 401k loan is you also have to kind of think about like where you are. Like if you're early in your career, if you're in your you know early 20s or mid 20s or late 20s, and you're taking out money to buy a house over time, and your retirement age is probably 50 55 or 62 or like however far out that is, that's a long time away. 
and the appreciation you may gain uh, just by getting into real estate <clears throat> um, at an early age could far outpace that money that you have set aside for your 401k. So do some math, get with a financial advisor, try to figure out like, is this a really good thing to do? And, uh, you know, for the most part, what I see is that a lot of people use 401k loans or withdrawals for their down payment and closing costs on their house because they know that over time, the real estate is a very good vehicle to create you wealth over time, <laughs> even if you start small with real estate. Okay. All right. Hopefully that answers your questions about whether you should use a 401k for your down payment or not. If you like this video, please make sure you click the like button and down below, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you want to have more of my videos come out, I'm also going to drop my calendar link down below. And I'd love to talk to you about your 401k loan and having you help you buy a house. It seems like such a great thing to do. And uh, hopefully this is a good video for you to help you out. Thanks so much for watching and I will chat with you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.